the training, oh, well, like is in the name, the training support facility is to support the training of soldiers and their education in their history and heritage, also to uh, uh, help in uh, leadership development. With the majority of them coming early on, I think it gives them a good uh, grounding, a good basis for what the rest of their training is going to be. They'll, so, you know, that way they've got what's happened in the past uh, up to some of the current technology and then they can move on from there and getting the specific training that they're going to take. The soldiers come out onto this floor. They're given instruction on, on items that are directly related to their particular MOS. So if a uh, track, track mechanic came through, they would look at the various uh, track and suspension systems on the tanks and it would show them how they evolve. And then case study information would be thrown in to kind of give them uh, some critical thinking on, on what the problem was, how the Army addressed that problem, and how it was fixed in subsequent models during production and design. And getting up close and personal, you're not allowed to touch anything, but at least you, you can get close to that history. And a lot of the pieces that are here are unique. Um, there's some, there was only one or two in, in the entire world that are, that are here on display uh, at, at the training support facility. They've uh, been filming a series of short films here even since before I got here, and they're available on the uh, Ordnance Facebook page. Folks who are working either in the museum system or here on the base or in Ordnance um, have highlighted important historical pieces from the collection, and uh, they'll do uh, a specific background film on that and uh, explain why it's significant, why it's being preserved here at the uh, training support facility.